It's been a week since Mike Lindell's Moment of Tooth Dental Convention aired to 28 people and failed to shock the world. The Pillow Man's event in Missouri was a disaster, with the straight-to-video production value of the kind of ramshackle projects his theatrical supporters Kevin Sorbo and Kirk Cameron would consider blockbuster. Fortunately for us, we're just here for the comedy and the crazy, and there's plenty. I always compare it to uh, back in time, I, I, when I was growing up, I had black and white TVs, and the TV, we would turn them off as kids and would go down to this little tiny dot, and we'd sit and we'd turn it back on right before the dot went out, okay? Well, that's the day the dot almost went out on the United States, and like Ronald Reagan said, if the lights go out here, if you, you go out everywhere. We're like a beacon on a hill, I think you said. That's not what Reagan said. It's not even close. If we lose freedom here, there is no place to escape to. This is the last stand on Earth. It is pouring MAGA tears. Mike Lindell's summit was 18 hours of him whining between tech fails and Karens and experts who wouldn't get hired at Best Buy. I have a whip through some wild highlights, have a laugh with the much hype representatives from 50 states, see reaction from actual cyber experts, plus I drop a new Dim Jr. clip, and more. Food safety expert Lauren Boebert tweeted, When is the last time you stayed in a hotel room that cost over 400 a night, paid for by the taxpayers of a nation you illegally broke into? Well, if you're an illegal staying in NYC, you get to stay in a four-star hotel on Times Square. All of this needs to end now. Naturally, I replied, when was the last time you stayed in a hotel paid for by Ted Cruz? You probably remember this winner from my last video, so let's up the crazy with a portion of the actual opening prayer to bless the Moment of Truth Summit. You think you're ready for this? You're not. You're not. God, I just want to say in the name of Jesus, I renounce witchcraft. In Jesus' name, we come out of agreement with all witchcraft in Jesus' name. Freemasonry, black magic, sorcery, we don't want any part of it in Jesus' name. Get out in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus, and we are not in agreement with you. In Jesus' name. Then Minnie Max Hedrum takes the stage to lead the Pledge of Allegiance for a group of people trying to Join overthrow democracy. Now, it's no shocker that the national anthem comes next, but with all of Mike's millions, he had an opportunity to dazzle the crowd with a right-wing singer, but he went with Dr. Bowtie. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the banner yet wet. I, um, I just want you to know when this weekend, when these couple of days are over, you're going to see stuff that's going to shock the country, shock the world. Well, I think your scary minion talking witchcraft and black magic was actually enough to shock the world. So you did deliver there, but not in the way you hoped. On day two, Mike was furious that a local reporter had said there was no evidence and low attendance. So he put his picture on screen and asked if he was there. Just like his hero Donald Trump had, Mike Lindell made journalists the enemy. Now here is a wide shot of the event in action. And, and that is not near 1000. Here's the reverse looking from the stage to the wall. You, you can see the video village in the back. Okay, let, now let's make this wide. And uh, I'm going to speed this up. And you can see the little mouse arrow going around. That's because I did a head count to the bigly number of 218. Yes, I took the time and counted them. 218. Now, people can sit there and the fake news media can say, what does Mike Lindell know about stuff? He, pay, he makes pillows or whatever. Well, and he's an ex-addict. Well, I did take calculus in eighth grade. And I will tell you this. I don't care if Tom Selleck's slow cousin took calculus in the eighth grade. He can't even count morons in a hall. Where's the powder? Because I know that if Donald Trump Jr. got 85% pure stuff and remained at a 40 year high, uh, essentially. Even my dealer who gave me the biggest bag ever, the biggest bag, he was like, this is gonna be nothing to help your septum. I know every party would be at my place non-stop. 
Junior Trump is trying to penetrate the princess. Ivanka would be going nuts. We can wear masks and promise not to tell dad. But there's all sorts of pen in there for all the redactions. How can they release that with all that black sharpie like it's a hurricane trajectory by my father? I said and I said this many times. I gotta get it, girls. I am the son of a ferret hair. But Melania is bed silent. Okay, if my nose is hit, if I feel like a hump, like, I see where you're coming from, like, I know, trust me. Like, I'm able to feel it. If it boners me, it's crushing every day for Eric. And yet, we can have everyday bedroom shenanigans. All day long, with golf course burials and Saudi money funding what's going on. Help this soul. Melania, start with a hand job for a change. And then, at that point, at that point, we all, um, um, I'm not sure what video this is, um, We'll, oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, this is Chris Krebs. I don't know if we have volume here. Um, I'll start talking, then I'll play it again. Hopefully you have volume for it. They, we were all told the lie back then by Chris Krebs, and he said it's the most secure election Government ever. Government industry remember representatives that? from the election security community. No clip, wrong clip, right clip, no sound. Then he starts talking. The sound goes over him. This was par for the course every day. In fact, just watching it was hard because they failed to create a stable area for the cameras. So most of the show was like this. Two years. Uh, and, and then sure. Exactly. Or this. Or this. Or you just had bizarre framing, so you had Mike's shaky pink hand dominating the screen for like an hour while he talked. But let's look at Force Ghost Sidney Powell and tell me what you notice about this. Yes, his production team is using the same background as me, the same background I've used for well over a year, and a solid confirmation that they are very much aware of my mega mockery. Oh look, it's Mike's witchcraft lady back again. She's bringing him coffee now. What's happening here, right? Right? Did you hear Amy bashing any Democrats or bashing? No, we're, get, we're talking about the machines. The legitimate President Donald Trump to the unelected stooge resident Joe Biden. There was a lot of that. So again, this just shows how bananas Mike is. He denies what's right in front of him till he's blue in the face. Especially right now, uh, during the 2020 election, Brian, it was amazing, the energy and just the excitement for President Trump. I mean, there were boat parades all over Lake Lanier and other lakes. There were people were driving these big, massive caravans for Trump, sign waving all the time. We never thought Georgia would would go for Biden. And I, I know for a fact it didn't. I know it. I know we voted for President Trump again. Yeah, and you announced it on stage. Imagine being so dumb that you equate boats to votes. There was 100 boats in the bay with MAGA signs. Trump won. Shut up, you blonde meat swamp. A major part of this event that Lindell had hyped for months was the State of the States address. He said there would be representatives there from every state, but as we discover, not by elected officials. Only three states had members of government in attendance. The rest was just, well, Urson Russell. Had to look him up. He's the COO of a GoPro knockoff company, Alana Campo. Yeah, she's a, uh, she's a realtor. Caroline Calaruso. Took me a while to find her because they got her name wrong, but she's running for Congress. And here's a beauty shot of her. So many winners here representing the states. Next up, we have Thad. <laughs> Thad Snyder, my personal favorite. Was your election stolen by China? Call Thad Snyder. Kansas Voting Systems Integrity Investigator. And uh, home builder and realtor. These are, these are just crazy people. Illinois, George Weckbecker. Spokesman for We the People, Illinois. Calls himself a researcher. Just like every anti-vax yoga mom with an iPhone. Marie, Indiana. One name. One name, just Marie. Robert Bohr. He ran for Nebraska Secretary of State. I'm not going to go through all 50, but it's just that. Realtors, soccer moms, retired people, and election losers. That's who represented each state, which Mike did try and make sound 
like he was going to have some elected official from each state. He repeatedly said they will all be represented. He didn't say it would be represented by Thad. Ridiculous. Oh, she's back. You're going to all watch the movie Selection Code tonight. It's going to be amazing. I've never seen it. Uh, I haven't seen any part of it, and uh, so it would be a surprise to me, too. Um, no matter if you are a Democrat or if you are a Republican or if you are an Independent, your votes have been selected, not elected. Mike funded this movie. He produced it. He put up all the money. Never seen it. The movie is only an hour long, and it's a complete unicorn wankathon with a couple cyber experts that were paid a lot by Mike Lindell to question voting machines, and every real cyber expert that live tweeted the event said it was trash. And for actual cyber experts, it was pretty painful to see the claims they were making, and they were debunking and linking to the facts and computer stuff in real time. They are pretending there is a Wi-Fi connection. I examined the system image. There is no Wi-Fi in them. If a Wi-Fi adapter is attached, we can see it in the event log and in the registry. None of these things were in the image. Scroll up in this thread and download the image yourself. You can all forensicate this yourselves. Give me that coffee there, pink Jesus minion. I want to thank everyone for your awesome comments, tips, views, and for me to clarify, I am not going anywhere. I'm only going to make more videos. I just got unlucky and felt very ill with COVID and have had to power through a lot to be here, but it's where I want to be. Uh, for context, here are my sheets. Yeah, that's not the stuff on uh, Putin's VHS of Trump. It is sweat drenched. I've been like this every sleepless night. It's been crazy. I love making videos and I love that I've grown such an incredible audience and I look forward to seeing all of your comments every time I post a new episode. And pro tip, if you want me to see your comments, don't curse in them. 99% of the time, those get automatically turfed into YouTube's naughty bin and I really want to see what you have to say. So if you can, keep it clean. Okay. Now I hope, I hope I planted seeds in that young man, that 23 year old kid. Okay. Now I hope, I hope I planted seeds in that young man, that 23 year old kid. I guess the host moved to YouTube from the open mics because he's used to silence when he performs. MAGA tears. Do you think it was a fair election or is that what big government told you to conform to? MAGA tears. Host is pro-choice and pro-stupid, no thanks. MAGA tears. More Soros funded garbage. MAGA tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media. It'll cost you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. If you can afford to, please hit the super thanks button or tip me via PayPal and be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've supported Jim Jeffries on five of his tours. I have three albums on Spotify and Apple Music. Be sure to check them out. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.